everyone, Jennifer here with an outfit of the day. I think that these detailed videos are very helpful. Um, I haven't gotten around to shooting my 10 item wardrobe fashion show video because that is like hours upon weeks of work. And with the baby right now, I just don't have the time. So, but I think that a video like this is going to be very helpful just to discuss the details. Plus you pretty much already know what I have anyway. So I just wanted to show you another way that I style one of my dresses. I did a video called how to wear dresses in the winter and I'll leave that linked above and below. Um, but today I just wanted to show you yet another way that I do it. So I'm wearing this um, dot dress. This is the LL Bean dress. I love these dresses. They're perfect for nursing. I love them. I think they're the perfect dress and I could just wear this for the rest of my life probably. <laughs> and be happy. So I'm wearing that. It's a colder day, so I'm wearing the fleece tights. I will leave those linked below. I just got them on Amazon. They're fantastic. They just keep me totally warm. And so something that I do often in a 10 item wardrobe is to make it appear like I have more clothes or to prevent myself from, you know, getting bored with the, the core items that I do have, I will put a sweater on top of the dress. And I'm sure you've seen me do this um, so far. Uh, this season and in the past. But by putting this cropped blue sweater, and I got this from Bowdoin years ago, so this is uh, probably at least two, three years old, um, but I'll try to find something comparable and link it below. I put the sweater over the dress and it makes it appear like I'm wearing a skirt and a top. And sometimes I actually like it when you can see the peak of the dress through the sweater. I just really like this look. It's a layered look and that's great. I'm wearing this with some cropped booties. These are from the Thursday Boot Co. So I updated the 10 item wardrobe with my extras this year with boots and I ordered three pairs of boots. The Blondo boots, which is that tan colored waterproof boot that you've seen before. And then I purchased these boots from the Thursday Boot Company. I'd never tried them before. They're a pretty good price. They were only $160. For high quality boots, I think that's a really good price. Um, and I needed a dark brown booty. And then I also need a black booty. So I've ordered the black in these. These are called the Duchess style because I love these boots so much. I can tell these are going to last me for years. Um, and I was just totally out of all booties. I hate saying booties. <laughs> I mean, can there be a better word for this? Cropped ankle boots. How about that? <laughs> so I have a light brown, a dark brown. This is actually an olive suede that I'm wearing and a black, which has yet to arrive. But that totally fulfills that category in my 10 item wardrobe. Every box is checked and I won't need booties, <laughs> booties. I will not need ankle boots now for years to come, but I was just, I didn't have any. I was totally out of them. I had a black pair from aerosols, but they were just so run down. It was time to upgrade them. So anyway, I'm really pleased with that. I've totally filled that hole and now, you know, my wardrobe is just so workable now. This is the whole outfit. I'm wearing, um, you know, my watch and people always ask me about the watch. This is Tag Heuer. Ben got it for me uh, for my 35th birthday, I believe. And um, this is just the Ana Luisa bracelet, the gold chain bracelet. And then I'm just wearing uh, diamond stud earrings you know, a present from Ben from a long time ago. So that's just the outfit. It's very simple. I know this is not everybody's style, but that is the wonderful thing about the 10 item wardrobe is that it works for everybody, for every style. I don't care if you're modern and edgy, if you're bohemian, free spirit, if you're preppy, or if you're kind of quirky like me. <laughs> you know, I love the Victorian era, Sherlock Holmes, literature from that whole era. I just love it. And so whenever I see dresses and boots, ankle booties, I just think of the Victorian era. So there you go, I'm nostalgic. So on my nails, I'm wearing London Town's Full Monty. This is another good neutral. You know I reviewed the Tea Time one by them. This one is awesome too. It's more opaque than Tea Time, but it's a fantastic neutral. Hope you enjoyed this breakdown of my outfit of the day. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please let me know in the comment section below. Thanks so much for joining me today on The Daily Connoisseur and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.